Every four months, agribusiness analysts at Rabobank survey Kiwi farmers from all productive sectors, asking them what they think the future holds. Last quarter, despite high commodity returns almost across the board, confidence was down. Farmers tend to be a pessimistic breed, fearing the worst but hoping for the best, many citing the continuing strength of our dollar as reason for the lack of optimism. Paul Lamont from Rabobank's Waikato office says some farmers simply believe that with things so good now, it's unlikely they will get any better. The farmers are just being realistic here, that last year they had you know, a triple whammy of three, everything working in their um, favour, and so they're, they're thinking, well, how likely is it uh, to continue? They're already seeing some signs around the um, commodity prices, and it's very rare for us to have two very good um, growing seasons in a row. By sector, sheep and beef was the least optimistic. Just 9% of dry stock farmers reckon conditions will improve, while more than a third responded negatively. Individually, farmers seem more positive about their own businesses than the overall sector, two-thirds hoping to improve in the coming year. You look at the percentages there and more and farmers thought their individual business would improve. So uh, I think that they pay interest to it, but they really just concentrate on the things that they can control and that's why they're slightly more optimistic about their own business than about uh, their industry as a whole. With things so good now and unlikely to improve, you can be sure our cockies will be milking conditions while they last. Drew Chappell, Country 99 TV News. Well, it's one of the oldest industries in the country and a new book chronicling the history of Chinese market gardeners will lift the lid on a business stretching way back to the 1800s.